Hello everybody, Dave Shopius here. Um, I'm here today to share with you my method of converting these um, Dialyte chest lights on the B9 robot that I built, that I'm building or re refitting for a friend of mine, um, from the old uh, white Dialyte twist, twist in bayonet type bulbs to the nice, beautiful, gorgeous, <laughs> green and red um, LED mounted lights. Uh, these are wedge type. Um, the reason I got to do this is because um, most of the uh, twist in LED lights uh, that would fit in there are 12 volts. I can't find anything less. Um, I'm using Tom W's board control or light control board rather uh, that operates and controls all these flashing lights you see here. It's a really nice board, makes it nice easy, but the issue is that this little wonder here, it's not really an issue, it's just the way it's designed. Um, the output is 5 volts. It goes through this little voltage converter right here. It comes in from your uh, regular source anywhere from like 7 volts to 35 volts, I think. Um, and anyway, that's what the spec is on this. I think Tom says the top voltage you can put through this is 17. So you guys check on that before you do do any of this if you have this board. But it comes in here, it goes through this little voltage um, regulator and it turns it in, transforms it into 5 volts and puts it out these two connectors here. This is a matrix style uh, setup where it, um, it puts it out of 5 volts and makes all these little twinkling lights work. So, um, my issue was how do I turn that socket from a uh, 12 volt bayonet style to a uh, 5 volt wedge style base because these are the um, bulbs I'm using. I get these at Cointaker.com. They're beautiful. They give me the, the beautiful greens and, and reds. And of course they come in white too and a bunch of other colors. I'll show you these later on in the video. But how do I get these 5 volt, actually they're, they're rated for 6.3 volts, um, being fed with 5 volt. How do I get them from the 12 volts down to this 5 volt and change it from a bayonet to a wedge? Well, I am going to show you how to do that. Um, I don't know if you can... Uh, before I do that, I'm going to zoom in. I really can't get that. Get that. That's, um, I was trying to get Tom's last name on there. There we go. Okay, got that? <laughs> uh, anyway, that's, uh, I'm going to cut away here and show you what these look like before I uh, did my conversion. The guy I uh, got this from had put gel uh, connectors in there. I'm sorry, gel covers in there that ch tried to change the, uh, the color. And it, the color was bad. It was dim. And I think you can see now these are just bright and beautiful and rich. So I'm going to cut away and show you a, a quick uh, version of that, what it was before I started working on it. And after that, I'll show you how I did it. Okay? Uh, be right back. Okay, so hopefully you saw the difference between the way I have it now with the uh, LEDs and um, the way it was before the uh, my little uh, modification went into effect. Um, you can see the greens are nice and green and the red was nice and red. So how did I do it? Um, basically here is the dialyte and um, I kind of committed a travesty and um, I pretty much ruined the dialyte for ever taking another ball by itself. What I did was um, I very simply I, I just drew a uh, drill drew I drilled a hole in the back of the dialyte into the open body of it and I inserted a pop bumper socket wired a wired socket and these are really nice these are these are all coated and electrically safe. Uh, it takes a wedge style bulb 
And uh, in a pinball machine, it goes into the pop bumpers and sits inside of it, and then you put the cap on top of it. And it it's really makes it simple. You pretty much do the same thing, just get it through the holes and hook it up to the electrical. Um, I imagine this would go <laughs> take, take quite a bit of voltage, but on our uh, robots and machines, we only go up to like 12 volts, maybe 24 at the most. Um, so that's basically what it is. You have a, a, a wedge type thing here which wedge, wedge type socket now the um, you can get these where do you get these here you can get these at a place called pinball life they're up in Chicago the Chicago area um, and they're about a dollar twenty five a piece and there they are uh, pinballlife.com in fact I know Terry he's a great guy um, it's a family business they built it out of nothing they worked out of their basements uh, for years, and now they got a big warehouse they work out of. Uh, true American success story. I love this. I love these guys. But anyway, they got everything you need for pinball and for robots, obviously. So you can get those there like a dollar twenty-five a piece, um, or you can buy fifty or more if you want them. And it's like eighty-one bucks, eighty-one cents a piece. So you gotta love it. All right. Well, that's the socket. Like I said, I just drilled a little hole in the back. Ran the socket through the hole so it sits inside the body and I put a little Molex connector on the back of it so I can plug it in and out and get it out of there. Um, what is this you wonder? Um, that is a good question. What happened here? That That's my version of a washer. Okay, The guy who uh, built this thing before me made this really big here and it just drops, you know, it just drops through. Um, without the um, the cap on it, so the cap is big enough, but the other side it, it wouldn't the nut wouldn't um, lock down. So what I did is I, I, whoop, I just took a piece of plastic from a pinball machine, a ramp, and I cut it out square, drilled a hole the right size hole from it, and just kind of um, then this just kind of screws down on it and gives me a nice tight fit once I put the cap on. So let's, um, hopefully I can get this off here. i got one hand here. That just screws and screws, and you can see that the LED just kind of goes in there. Okay? And it, it's long enough so it'll, it'll go all the way to the back, and that's where you want it. Goes push it back as far as it'll go. Because if it's too close to this cap here, you'll see a, a little ring on there and won't give you a good a good spread. Um, now, what about the LED? Here they are right here. These are just beautiful. They um, You get them from Cointaker.com, another pinball place. They're fully rectified. And what I think that means is you can put them either one way or the other. Um, I think that's what that means. Um, the only thing is you got to make sure that these little wires here, see these little wires? That they're spread out and straight. They move, they're kind of bent over from the back. Just make sure they're spread out before you stick them into the um, into the socket, okay? Um, they come in various colors. Of course, for our, our needs today, they can, these are two white ones. We needed, uh, I needed a red and a green, so, and you saw how beautiful the colors looked after they put them in. And white is white, they've got warm white and bright lights, so. Um, coin taker. They're called, uh, they're 555 Super 5. <laughs> and, um, like I said again, they're, they're about $1.89 a piece. So the shipping was more than the bulbs, and they come in all these colors here, just just fantastic. Good little good little write up if you want to read through that. And when they're in the sockets, all the caps are on there. They don't even warm up. You can't even feel any heat coming off them. They take very very little, very little. Um, current to get them going. So basically that's it. That's how I did it. Um, and again, um, just put it in from the back, 
screw it down. Let's see if we can't get a, a good shot of what's in here. And that's what it looks like when she's attached. Now voltage. These super 555 supers only come in the 6.3 volts, okay? So if you're supplying 12 volts to your dialytes, it's going to be too much. You're going to have to knock that voltage down a little bit. Um, Coin Taker does have some 12 volt LEDs, but they're not they're not clustered like this. They're flat across the top, and I think they might have a couple wedge ones like this. But uh, I do know that they have bayonet styles. So if you got to go with 12 in 12 volt um, and you want LEDs, you can do the same thing as this. Um, but get, make sure you get the wedge styles or you're going to have to do something else with a bayonet fit or get um, a dialyte bulb that will fit in there and try to go with uh, this kind of thing that this guy did. So, um, but get the right, get the right colors. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that's about it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, my only, I, I have one more suggestion though, before you go, make sure, like I said, this is pushed all the way to the back, and once it's, uh, once it's all the way to the back, so you can get a nice spread across, a nice diffusion across here, I would take a small Ziploc tie and tie it right through that hole right there, and tie it, tie the, um, the wire to that. So that would hold it in place and it wouldn't sneak forward. Okay, so again you want that as back as far as possible and in the center as possible. It'll stay there if you have it tied off back here. All right, that's all I got for you. You guys have a great day. See you next time. Bye.